Hi, I'm Patrick Roberts, maker of Rapid Resizer Online. Uh, this is the big introductory video. If you just bought it or you're curious about it, this is the one to watch first. Now, assuming you bought it, you would have got to a page or an email where it gives you your password, and there should also be a link you click on that to get started resizing, and that should take you here. Uh, this is the main page. This is where you always start to resume or work on a new design. Uh, you can get back here from any page of the Rapid Resizer by clicking on the Resizer icon at the top right. So for example, say you're cropping a design so you can resize it accurately and you realize you want to be cropping something else, you don't change the design in the cropping step. Instead you come back here, select the new design you want to be cropping, and carry on. Uh, if it doesn't show your name at the top and you bought it, you need to log in. Uh, click on the login button and then enter your password. Ideally, you received an email. It might be in your junk or spam folder. Uh, if you're logged in, it'll have a little reminder here to bookmark this page so you can easily get back here later. Uh, you may have already followed the instructions for that when you, right after you bought it. If not, really good idea click on the rapid resizer there left click and drag it up into your into your list of bookmarks list of websites at the top of the web browser if you have that uh, the particulars of how this work depends on your computer at the least you might be able to right click on it and add it to favorites or bookmarks or pin it now, if none of that works at worst you just type rapidresizer.com into your web browser and you can get back here now you'll often see the last project you were working on at the top here so you can easily print that again or work on any other work on it in any other way uh, you can't delete this it just usually goes away after a couple days or is replaced by the next thing you work on if you have more than the basic version of rapid resizer it'll by default remember all the designs you put into it, put in it so you can easily work on those again from any of your computers or tablets if you want to use one of those, you just click on it and you get all the options to take it to any other step of the rapid resizer. But of course, you can also get new designs into it. The easiest way is just to click on that file choosing button there. That'll work with any picture or photo on your computer. It can also handle PDF files and SVG. Uh, if It won't handle other kinds of documents like Word files or PowerPoint. If you have one of those you want to use, try to, if there's a picture in there, try to get it out and just export it as a regular picture, or maybe you can convert it to a PDF. A rapid Resizer, in addition to using any designs you already have, also has a lot of neat tools to help you, a number of neat tools to help you make designs. Uh, the most popular is the Text Stencil Maker. It has over 60 fonts and you can easily make a a nice template for any arts or crafts project with any of those fonts. So you just go in there, choose your font, some other settings, the text you want, and then you can hit a button to put that into the resizer and print it to any size or go do any of the other, use any of the other rapid resizer features with it. There's also a neat picture stencil maker. You can just put any picture or photo into this, play with a little control, and it'll instantly make a rough uh, stencil or pattern. You could then also, uh, if you have more than the basic version of Rapid Resizer, put that into the designer and then white out parts or add lines to pretty quickly turn a, a picture into a, a usable pattern. How well it works depends on the amount of contrast in the original picture, but it's pretty neat. Uh, you can also draw a design from scratch and then print it to any size. There's also a neat uh, tool to help you find free patterns. This actually plugs into Google Image Search with the right options set so that you can just type, you know, bear pattern or just bear and instantly get all sorts of great uh, stencils and patterns to use. And then you just try to find the most detailed, highest resolution version of the image, save it to your computer, and then you can put that into a rapid resizer the way I mentioned above. Uh, it also helps you get designs from your scanner. If you have Windows, there's a, a little scanning program you can download, and that takes care of pulling the design from your scanner, 
at a good resolution and uploading it to Rapid Resizer online for you. Uh, if you're using a Mac, it has some instructions to help you do it with the usual Mac program. When you get a design into it, uh, by default it takes you to the resizing step, so if you just wanted to immediately print it out, that's easy. But from there, you can also go to any of the other steps. You know, save ink, draw a color, there's a whole set of buttons to go to any of those. So if you wanted to say, add a border, you click the border button, sort that out, and then you can come back to resizing then you enter your size. There's not really any point entering the size until you're finally about to print it and finally print it out from there. Uh, you can get help from any page by clicking on the help button at the top right. That has more videos and there's a neat tour feature where you click on a button and it'll take you on a little guided tour of each part of the page. That's available on just about every page of Rapid Resizer. Uh, if you don't really need a manual, you can just dive in and use it. Uh, the help thing also has answers to common questions and you can if none of that helps you you can simply message me it's best to contact me on the page where you're having the problem so I can see exactly what's going on so hopefully that got you off to a good start uh, dive in and if you have any problems let me know